Hi Earth Signs, Taurus, Capricorn and Virgo. Welcome to your weekly reading. I'm going to be using the Shadowscapes Tarot to see what's going on for you this week in love. Um, it's going to be a general reading so it might not resonate with all of you Earthlings but I do hope it is helpful. So um, this can be to the cross watchers dealing with an Earth sign uh, or if you have heavy Earth placement in your chart. Um, let's have a look and see what's happening for you in love. Um, if you enjoy this video, please drop a like. Please feel free to subscribe to the channel as well to get updates for readings for your sign and your element. Okay. Four of Wands. Someone sailing into the sunset here. Okay. Straight away, the words that come to mind, Earth signs, are... There's a happily ever after... But it's happening in the distant future rather than the immediate future. Um, so there's obviously some sort of connection here. The lovers has come up reversed. So right now this connection is not flourishing how you want it to. But the long distance card is here and the four of wands is here. So there's like there's a celebration or a union in the distant future rather than the immediate future. So you might need to be extra patient for this love connection to work again. Communication's a little bit off right now. So someone's not ready to talk. Um, I feel like earth signs, this could be you, you're in, you're in a place where you, um, something's not working in the connection as you, as you once saw it, at least temporarily. Now there might've been a conversation or there might be a conversation that's coming up, um, Gemini's rule communication. So Gemini energy, um, you might be dealing with a gem here. We've got Pisces as well. Uh, but look, I feel like Something's not working for you um, communication-wise. Someone might say something that's not to your liking and you might not be too pleased with them. Now, they're going to reveal something to you, I feel. The sun is coming up. The sun is like lighting up um, illumination, coming out of darkness. So there's someone who's going to reveal something to you and I don't feel like you're going to be too happy about it after this conversation takes place. Could be about their past relationship. Six of Cups can be the past, why they broke up with their ex. It could be how recently they broke up with the ex. Um, I have a feeling with the Six of Wands that you're sort of going to play it cool and not let them know what's up. But internally, you're going to be going, like your mind is going to be like ticking, you know. The, the wheels are turning up there. Um, With the Eight of Wands, it's almost like you want them to say something or you wished for them to tell you something. You wished for something and you're not going to get it. You're not going to get it, at least not in conversation, I feel. Or the relationship or the, the kind of connection you thought you would have with this person is not living up to the fantasy. Okay, this is fantasy. Four of Wands can also be fantasy. It is the marriage card. So for some of you, you're connecting with someone who's unavailable. That might be why, okay, maybe you can't pursue this relationship right now. Maybe they're still separating. Maybe they're still saying goodbye to their ex, whatever's going on. But it's it's preventing the relationship from moving forward right now. But just because that's the energy right now, it doesn't mean that that energy can't change in the distant future. Okay, so this is a distant connection or a long distance love who's coming in. Uh, or this is someone foreign. And, you know, the three of ones, she's worked pretty hard to get to, the, to where she is. So I'm wondering if this is someone that's coming back in that you've always wanted a relationship with and you'll finally get the chance to have it. And I don't know, Earth signs, I don't feel like you're going to be too much into it, to be honest. I feel like a part of you is going to be like, mm, yeah, I'll go back to the other person or I'm just going to focus on myself. You know, I'm seeing this and I'm thinking, I don't know, I reckon, I reckon something they're going to do is going to put you off a bit. But like I said... <laughs> You're going to be really good at not showing it. You're good at this, at signs. You're good at this game. Um, but yeah, you're in this energy where I'm not going to show them what I really feel. I'm not going to... And you're also not going to tell them either with the lovers reversed. Okay. I still feel like you see this person in your future somehow. And if you don't, they see you in their distant future. This is the long-term future card there with the Three of Wands. Three of Wands can also be options coming up around your Earth signs. Like I said, you have Gemini, you've got Pisces. So you've got a couple signs that have come up around you. Some are going to be unavailable. Some are available. Um, 
I feel like there's a fire sign that's destined. One, two, three, four fire, uh, four fire cards. You've been wishing for this person and you're destined to be with them. Long term and married. Whether you're aware of it or not, that relationship is destined to succeed. The relationship with the fire sign could also be Pisces. A Gemini here as well. Maybe Gemini, not right now. But I feel like this is the one you'll end up with maybe. Because I'm seeing some serious stuff going on here. So I wonder if it's... Okay, something puts you off. You say no or you back away. You could withdraw from the connection. Um, you sort of do your own thing. You could play around with maybe someone from the past a bit. To sort of distract yourself with. Um, and then you'll get over it. And then this person will come back. Maybe come back around. Or you'll be the one to sort of be like, yeah, okay, I'm going to give you a chance. But you have no idea where that chance could take you, Earth Signs. It could take you far. It could take you very, very far with this person. I do want to say there may be some ego coming into the picture here as well for some of you. Six of Wands, Eight of Wands. Someone's getting carried away with ego here. Um, and that might be something that you dislike. I don't know if they're going to say something very egotistical. Uh, and it's just going to be like, yeah, no. Six of Wands can be a showy energy, you know, it's it's showmanship, it's showing off, it's all about oh, image, this is what I have, this is what I have. And that might look very nice from the outside, but is there substance on the inside? And that's what might put you off because you feel like there's no substance there and you'll be like, mm, nah, next. But then this person I feel like is going to come back in. So maybe there's a couple of chances that you need to give them to really prove themselves or to really show who they really are and what it is they can really offer. You know, maybe when we're too quick to reject someone, we don't give them a chance to fully show themselves and put their best foot forward. If we do it too early, obviously that's going to be um, up to you, you know, free will. Um, it's going to be up to you if you want to spend your um, energy and your time and you want to invest in this person. But there might be something here that's quite worthwhile. Um but I do get the past, Six of Cups. This can even be a past life person coming back in. So if you feel like you're so familiar with this person, maybe you have deja vu moments when you're with them, this could be very significant in a sense where it could really show that you once shared a very powerful bond. And just because you're not together right now, you're not where you want to be right now, it doesn't mean that things can't change in the long distance future. And there's marriage here with the Four of Wands. Sailing into the sunset, happily ever after. So um, pretty powerful reading of signs. I'll leave it at that. Thank you again so, so much for tuning in. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Uh, and I do hope to be in touch again very soon. Have a great week ahead and bye for now.